And Nobel Prize winning physicist Albert Einstein is known as one of the greatest scientists of all time. But it's not widely known that he spoke out publicly against racism in the United States and was a strong supporter of civil rights. In a 1946 speech, he said, quote, the separation of the races is not a disease of colored people. It is a disease of white people. I do not intend to be quiet about it, end quote. Zaev Rosencrantz is the assistant director and senior editor of the Einstein Papers Project at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California, and he joins us from there. Zaev, nice to meet you. Thanks so much for being here. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. I want to start off by reading another little quote from uh, some of the um, writings that are in this project and then ask you about it on the back end, so bear with me. It says, your ancestors dragged these black people from their homes by force and in the white man's quest for wealth and an easy life, they have been ruthlessly suppressed and exploited, degraded into uh, slavery. The modern prejudice against Negroes is the result of the desire to maintain this unworthy condition. I do not believe there is a way in which this deeply entrenched evil can be quickly healed. I just want to ask you, it may be an obvious question, but where did Albert Einstein get such a passion against racism? Well, I think it was part of his general worldview, um, his ideology. He was um, basically a humanist, and for him, um, civil rights, and in particular, civil rights for minorities, um, were a very important issue. Um, and he saw it as a blemish, basically, um, of American society that um, African Americans were not treated the way they should be and didn't have equal rights to um, the white population. And I'm just going to ask the question quite simply. Why didn't I know this before now? Um, well, there isn't that much interest in Einstein's politics. I mean, we all know him as, um, you know, the genius, the scientific genius. And um, some of us know about um, his personal life. There's been um, quite a few um, articles and um, reports about that. But um, not so much about his politics in general. And... Um, I think his, style, his strong stance on racism is, is part of that. Uh, and part of the reason this is coming to fore now is this whole process of uh, digitizing Einstein papers through the Einstein paper project. Just tell us a little bit about the project. Yeah, it's the historical edition of Einstein's um, papers and correspondence. Um, we publish in, um, in a multi-volume series um, papers and the writings and correspondence of, of Einstein. Um, we have covered so far in 13 volumes um, his life uh, up to the age of when he was 44, which was in 1923. And we have another volume coming out um, in January. That's the 14th volume that will cover the years 23 to 25. Um, and uh, we just launched, as you mentioned, 10 days ago, um, a digital version. We put all those volumes onto the web, and they're now um, accessible free of charge. And each item is, um, each document is um, available in both its original language, which mainly mean, which is usually German, um, but also in a parallel English translation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great resource for... Um, for Einstein scholars, but also a um, very interesting resource for the general public. Indeed, and for all those history buffs out there, I, I recommend that they take a look at them. Let me, uh, you know what, I think what, one of the things that struck me so much was the humanity that Albert Einstein had. Uh, briefly talk a little bit about the letter that he wrote to Madame Marie Curie. Um, I'm not Are you familiar with that one? Apparently, he wrote her a letter, and I can't I'm quote not, it. I don't have it. But encouraging her tried. not to be upset by those who were criticizing her work. Yeah, um, he um, even though he was um, he could be quite a misogynist at times, um, especially in his private life. Um, he um, did recognize Marie Curie's um, greatness, and um, and did encourage her when, especially when she was under attack. Um, especially for things related to her private life um, amongst the uh, French scientific community. And uh, he was, he definitely stood to her side and, and encouraged her through his, his letters. Really, really incredible. Also learned that he was great friends with Marian Anderson, Anderson, a supporter mm -hmm. of W.E.B. Du Bois. So just really uh, cool nuggets in this. It's called the Einstein Papers Project. It's being digitized, so people should check it out if they can. Zaev Rosencrantz, thank you so much. It's good to talk to you.
It was a pleasure. Thank you. Take care. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back again tomorrow for another edition of Arise America. I'm Debbie Turner-Bell. Have a good one. Bye-bye.